all right because but this this definitely shows that you definitely got some positive you reaping what you're sowing you definitely got some good enterprise and then good things coming from plant seeds that you have planted in the past with this three of wands upright the wands represent fire signs which is sagittarius leo and aries and they're very passionate and fiery and driven and optimistic and they just take charge and they go for things you know they don't sit around waiting for things and they're very um confident within themselves and confident within their abilities and you you did it you we was confident in yourself and now you're starting you're just wait there's no more waiting now your ships are coming into the harbor and that money is the yours to blow it. oh god but with this two of um ones in reverse here i feel like this may be the the feel that you need to go back to and um think about some the, go back and consult your intuition about a certain um partnership that may not have came into fruition in how in the way that you would have liked all right but yeah, like I was saying, I feel like one venture has fell through because the situation where the situation stands now, um, you, you shouldn't fret. Where the situation stands now is that um, you have the four of wands in reverse. The four of wands in reverse often speaks of um, there's something went wrong with a sort of celebration or a party or a wedding or an organization or an event um, that you maybe have been putting on there may be some sort of fold through with a certain event but not to fret um i feel like this setback or this um this particular thing is something that or this particular um hold up i feel like it's a blessing in disguise in a sense all right because you have judgment you're gonna rise to judgment which is your higher self and then you have the hangman there and the hangman often speaks of um Maybe it's time to tie your hands on something and just wait and surrender and wait and let God or let the universe or let, you know, just let the, just let the situations come to you. Don't act too much on a situation right now or just kind of accept the situation for what it is. You know, you don't need too much action on your part because what's done probably is already done. Okay. And, um, don't worry because this will result in ascension because the higher, the judgment often speaks of your higher self or rising to your higher self. Okay. And becoming the person that you are meant to be. You see like the, these are rising to the, the angels singing praises with the angel. All right. So yeah, just go back and confront your intuition to see what choice needs to be made or why a choice was made. Okay, and some of you maybe um, have to leave work for some reason because this may be a stag. This may mean stagnancy in work or stagnancy in a certain pro project where it's not really too much forward movement. So some of you may have to leave work for some some reason or the other, and um, for a while um, for some reason. And um, if a job has ended, I feel like maybe it's a blessing in disguise because what's working for you in this month is the fact that. You have a major wish that did that has came true because you have the nine of cups here the nine of cups speaks of wishes that are coming true a wish fulfillment and you're just happy and over blissed and overjoyed and but paired up with that card you had the star card so um i feel like with these two i feel like this is saying um that a major wish was fulfilled and um but yeah like i said blessing in disguise because um and that you've reached this goal you've reached this 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 milestone or you've reached this hill or you've reached this accomplishment and um even though it was reached almost to the point of burnout and de and detriment to your physical well-being with the star card in reverse see because the star card in reverse often talks of um um hopelessness or feeling like you're burnt out or feeling worn out or drawn out and we've heard out with this card i just i feel like it's still a positive omen even though it's in reverse i feel like it's just saying that you have put in the hard work diligently and faithfully and um consistently and that's why you're reaping the you know you're getting all the things that you deserve now because you put in the work so even though um it, it seems like you have worked so hard all right i definitely feel like you made it after all the blood sweat and the tears all right 
and also um, there may even be a woman that may have be helping you to raise to the top in some form or the other in these aspects of your business. And I feel like a woman will be of some sort of significance. Okay? And I say that because the oracle card that came out for you was the or two oracle cards. You had the necessity or necess necessity. This, these are in front. <laughs> I wish I could speak that rrr, luxurious, sexy French accent, but you know, I can't do that, so I just have this English bullshit accent. But yes, necess necess necessity, necessity, I don't know, but it basically means necessity. I'm in love with these oracle cards, okay? The artwork is exquisite. And basically, necessity means... Um, Oh. This definitely serves you well for this. Fate should have been the name on this card because that's what this card is really about. In general, the card's interpretation is rather negative. But if but if it return, pertains to love and relationships, there is an exception. But this card came out in the form of in your work aspect, okay? So this basically means um, when it comes to work or the personality surrounding a certain person is the person loves order and to store things. If there is order around, the person is quieter and more social. Now, if this doesn't sound like methodical and strategic and calculating burgers, then I don't know what does. So this definitely serves you well and it definitely um, ties into it, the reading about your um, when it comes into regard to work. All right. And it also can mean a clear need for change, okay? Or a clear need for some sort of something to, you know, to change in your life. So maybe this is the, the job that didn't work out for you, okay? And then you also had received um, Femme, Femme, or Woman. And this card basically means... Um, the card has to do with the feminine spirit and feminine influence associated with the feminine is passivity, mysticism, obedience, but the feminine principle is in men too. You can only see half of the face on the picture because a woman is not complete without the male side or the male counterpart. All right. This card is associated with Venus, beauty, love, and the moon and in bracket emotion. Now, when this comes to love and relationships, it can mean a wife, girlfriend, or mistress, a meeting, or an important connection. Okay, but this came up in your work situation, so I feel like this is definitely denotes that there is a that this card can mean an empowerment of a woman at work. Okay, or so, but it also can mean on the flip side a lack of interest in work. So maybe women are figuring strongly in your work right now. Maybe some of you may be getting involved with a um someone that you work with or maybe a few people that you work with with this three of cups that in, that's coming up next is what is advising you not to do in the month of december what spirit is advising you not to do virgo these are often positive cards you have the um the seven of pentacles and the three of cups the seven of pentacles often talks of planting seeds okay um waiting for your for your crop to harvest or waiting for your harvest to crop and flourish and grow into some beautiful um bountiful blessings and money and earnings after you work so hard and planted all these investments and seeds and the three of cups often means celebrations and um community contributes and um collaborations um parties weddings you know those things and meetings of some sort um just so hanging out with friends social life contacts acquaintances things like that okay but if this is showing up in a place to warn you of things to not do i feel like it is telling you um this month do not overly invest your time in in many things in too many projects and don't make promises you can't keep or also maybe don't get involved with multiple different women at work all right you don't want to stir no jealousy back off and then when it comes to your that is your work situation when it comes to your um love life um, I feel like in you guys' love life for this month, it's a few different messages here. You got the Hermit, which is actually yourself, because the Hermit card I was um, the Virgo card in, in the deck. Then you got the Four Swords, and then you got the High Priestess in reverse. Now, the Swords represents um, air signs, um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay? 
and you see the high priestess in reverse, the hermits, and the four of swords. All these kind of speak of rest and um, taking a break or taking a breather. And I'll further elaborate now, okay? I feel like some of you may be ignoring your, um, may be ignoring your inner guidance telling you to slow down a bit and engage in more sentimental pursuits and spend some time with, with love interest instead of bombarding yourself and scheduling yourself with overwork, okay? Um, I know Virgos, I know that that's, you're very meticulous and that's what you like to do. You like to, is that the word? Meticulous? I don't know. You're very strategic, you're very calculating and you like to plan and you like to have order in the court. If there is no order in the court, you feel like you're going crazy, but that is not healthy. You need to find a healthy balance and you need love, okay? Because you guys also are lovers at heart. Trust me, I know. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, yes, so instead of bombarding your schedule with work, um, and there's also a feeling of isolation with this... Um, with this hermit here, there's a feeling of isolation of some sort and separation. And you feel a separation feel or um or there's lurking around for some of you, okay? I feel like this into this intuition that you're ignoring also may be harboring a secret. So you may have a secret that you're harboring, or maybe even to yourself. So maybe it's time to admit your true feelings to yourself about something, about some situation, or about someone. Maybe you're overworking, trying to hide that or trying to overcompensate or trying to, you know, just so you don't have to pay attention to your emotions. Because I know Virgos of Mercury signs, you like to, the intellect. You don't really like too much to do with muddling emotions, but you need emotions and you need moods, okay? You can't just be strategic and calculate all the goddamn time, okay? <laughs> Golly. And, um... Yeah, I feel like a deeper commitment is needed to sustain a particular relationship you have in mind, all right? And for others of you, you really do not want a relationship right now. And right now is the key words, okay? Because um, maybe just having the time for more platonic kind of love with little strings attached with this um, high priestess in reverse. Oh my God. With this high priestess in reverse. High priestess upright is a... Um, very, very intuitive woman. She has the secret knowledge of um, the occult or the mysteries of life. And she knows all of the secrets of you before you even know that, okay? But she often harbors many secrets. And she often keeps to herself. But she's not lonely, but she just keeps to herself because she needs a lot of time alone to process a lot of these mysteries and signals that she gets from um, the invincible world that majority cannot see or feel, Okay? In reverse, it tells of um, maybe you're not listening to your intuition. Like I said earlier, this inner guidance is guiding you to spend some more time or to relax and to um, retreat in love. But you're not doing it, God damn it, you hard-headed mama, mama jammers. <laughs> um, and also, um, yeah, some of you may just have the time for platonic kind of love, all right? Love with a little bit of strings, with, with little strings detached. And, I'm not, excuse me, another situation. Excuse me. And then I feel like for now, in this you received the Eight of Swords in reverse. And then you received the um, the Justice card in reverse. These two cards are pretty much straightforward in speaking like this. Um, I feel like the situation calls for justice. You may have many suitors to choose from, so you choose nothing or no one. And communication lines are modeled and conversations are not reaching a solution and you're not finding a common ground and you feel all over the place. I feel like some of you need to cut through the chase and open up the conversation for dialect already, God damn it. Um, allow yourself to be open and to receive if you want justice, okay? What's what? Because 
Otherwise, and it's just you're just gonna keep going around in circles. If you want justice to be served, open up the form of dialogue. Open us, open yourself, open your heart, <laughs> Virgo. All right. Now, what's working in your favor in your love life for this month and going into January is you have the Six of Swords in reverse. You have the Nine of Swords in reverse. And then you have the um, Three of Pentacles. Pentacles is you guys, okay? Stable, firm, grounded, very good with money management. Um, um, working very hard and diligently and very practical and very, like, in it to win it. And you ain't wasting no time. You're like, yo, I've got work to do. Like, that is Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, okay? No. If these three put together, what this tells me is that what's working in your favor this month is the fact that you want to hold on to a particular person that's in your life, even though it's a bit complicated situation and maybe keeping you up at night with this um, nine of swords or the nine of swords upright often depicts you know mental anguish. You, you can't really sleep, or it may, you may not physically. It may not actually literally be you not being able to get any sleep, but it may be something that's rest resting heavily on your mind because the swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, deals with the intellect, deals with the mind, deals with Mercury, deals with conversations. You can even be talking to yourself for hours and hours on end with negative thoughts. Okay, the swords in the nine, up, up, the higher up they go in the deck. The higher the number, it often is the negative. So the nine of swords is quite negative, okay? This woman is quite stressed out. But what you're doing and what's working for you is it in reverse. So I feel like you're starting to ease that worry, ease that pain. Because you know deep down inside that some of you are going to get to love. And you are going to tend to love when you have the chance, okay? And, um... Yeah, because even though with some of you may be dealing with a complicated situation and maybe keeping you up, tossing and turning in your sleep, I feel like you know in your heart that a certain person is the one that you can see yourself grow and build with. And I say that because um, these two cards can also mean that the hermit and the four of swords. It can also mean a spiritual love, a very blessed love that is very meditative and very surreal like and, and it makes and it helps you to rise to ascension and rise to your higher self. Like this person feels like someone sent from above, like where you just melt in their arms, okay? So I feel like some of you have someone like that in your life right now. And um, why, what's working for you in your favor is the fact that even though you may be working hard right now and you may be, um, there may be a little bit of communication lines may be blurred, you are refusing to let go because. And upright, this card, this six of swords means moving on to greener pastures, moving on to sunnier lands, and moving on to calmer waters. You know, you're, you're going to leave the turbulence alone, but in reverse, it's almost saying like you're in it to win it, and you kind of don't want to move on from this, even though it may be a little bit frustrating right now, because you feel like you can build, and you can grow with this person, and you can build a life with them, build a foundation, build a home, build something that is sturdy and stable, Okay. So that's why some of you is still holding on to that belief, whether you are subconsciously or unconsciously doing it. I feel like this is strongly for some of you, all right? And um, for others of you, oh. or this could be you, okay? So maybe, or they, you, or this could be you that they see. So remember, this is a general read, and it doesn't necessarily have to be you, the one that's feeling all this strong cool or the strong like i'm not gonna let you go it could be the other person so please remember that and bear that in mind and this goes for all the messages that i've said today it can be the other person that's doing this to you so if you're reading listening to this and thinking eh, that's not really me that's the other person well there you go troopers all right and um so there's you with them still going to hold on and stick around Okay, because you can see yourself building or they can see themselves building with you. Just as soon as you find the time or just as soon as they find the time for to um, do other responsibilities, okay? It just feels like it's worth it in the long haul. So you don't let go just yet. Or they don't let go just yet. But if you don't know this, then you're not yet now. Okay? Others of you may be um, having a bit of confusion, okay? 
mixing work and pleasure and realizing that you still have to face this person and still going to continue with whatever projects you're working on together even though you're banging them brains out okay <laughs> and what you shouldn't do this month Virgo, is you shouldn't be the king of wands in reverse spirit is telling you no not that way mm -mm. upright very creative very good social skills gifted a gab swifting through come swifting through the womb like a cult like a vulture what's what's that saying jay-z say i don't know but you get my just just very very good people skills you are very creative um masterful at creative projects um very good person to talk to, very funny, very charming, you know, very easygoing. In reverse, you know, Spirit is telling you this month, do not be overly controlling to the point where you are unyielding, okay? And you seem too stern and too rigid to let love flow in, okay? Or to let your soul decide, show. so don't do that. No, your family life, which is, can seem quite similar um and quite in parallel to your um to the love life but it just it just it just differs because you guys can take the messages and which works for you and which doesn't okay because it can mean family like literally like the family that you was born into or it can mean the family that you have decided to create for yourself or that you wish to create for yourself okay oh i forgot to read the oracle cards the oracle cards for you guys in your love life speaks of you have time temps well it says temps influence temps and basically time number 45 means this definitely sums up to what i was just saying about the time oh i love oracle like how the messages just come out and it's like it's spot on ah! to Terry. Okay. so time Usually the card time indicates a waiting time. Something is delayed for a long period of time. Sometimes the card also can indicate a certain activity. For example, a holiday. This card is mainly linked to the earthly plane. Hmm? See, even links to you because you're earth sign. And basically, this can mean a person who thinks a lot, a home-loving person who does not like changes. He or she likes home and does not want to move. This can be the, the personality trait of times. When it comes to the love and relationships, it is a healthy storyline associated of the card. Problems or mistakes in previous relationships, it will take some time, but eventually when you're more mature, you'll start a successful relationship that will last. Like, tell me this is not spot on with this right here. Like, when this comes flying out, this is the read. I'm sorry, you guys, that this reading isn't live, but the way how I shuffle, I literally shuffle like this and for each individual card and it takes time and I did this for Leo and Libras and I mean the reading was a little bit too long so I'm, I know you guys have that ish to do so that's why I didn't do that so imagine doing that for all of these cards you see on the table yeah so that's why I didn't do this even though I l -l 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 love live readings because it just feels so like just right there and then like give it to me give it to me <laughs> So yeah, this definitely ties in with you guys right now, okay? And when it comes to, um, no, yeah, this isn't about work. This is about, um, yeah, this is about, I said it was about love. Alrighty then. Then you also receive the papyrus. Papyrus, papyrus, papyrus. How would the French say it? Papyrus. Ooh, you guys have accent is so goddamn sexy. Papyrus. The general meaning is this card is associated with secrets that are revealed to those who really know how to read them. On the other hand, this card can be associated with commercial transactions and contact contracts. For love and relationships, relationships become complicated because you mix work and private life. Dun, dun, dun. As I was saying, some of you may find someone at work because you've got these cards here uh, uh, uh. the three of pentacles talks about work partnerships groupings togetherness getting for rewards for your getting fruition for your work hard work that you put in getting recognized for your hard work so some of you may be meeting someone who just tickles your fans it work. so yeah yeah this card indicates successful agreements and a battle work situation regardless of the profession or the situation. Man. 
Then you received 15 or more. Or more. And this means love. All these cards relate so much. I'm so in love with these goddamn cards. And I just got them. Love. In the Catholic faith, the cross upon the heart is a symbol of the sacred heart. But this is also the symbol of love, the fire of life, the white band. Um, the white band refers to the bond of love that unites different creatures with each other. The green palm stands for honor and immortality. The calligraphy in the four corners of the card are the four di directions, the four elements in Greek. It says Christ in Greek. And you need to know the numerology. Okay. Love and relationships. Deep and sincere love and relationships and friendships. Harmony exists between you and others. If you live with someone, this card announces that you love that your love is true. If you are single, a new relationship will appear and you will definitely fall in love. Mm. Mm. This card indicates that the person will work with their vocation and this creates love for the work and a cozy atmosphere in the workplace. So maybe you guys may be smooching somebody and seeing her. Ah. <laughs> and then from the romance angels, you have flat. Okay. Daphne pertains to you as well. Extend your lighthearted and energies to others. Okay. And where's the description for that? These oracles say, so I want to read the exact, um, Thing. I ain't trying to mess up or fuck up the message. The romance angels guide you to initiate romance with flirtatiousness, which entails smiling with your eyes as you connect with others. It doesn't necessarily involve sexuality, although it can. Flirting is playful in nature, and playfulness is the heart of romance. If you're in a relationship, flirting with your partner can revive passion. If you're single, this activity can attract new friendships as well as a love relationship. Drawing this card can simply mean that making more eye contact with others will help you connect with people. This is especially true if you smile and say, hello. How you doing? But don't say how you do. <laughs> more often, everyone you meet is a potential friend. And studies show that most people are introduced to their mates through mutual acquaintances. Therefore, form new friendships as a way of meeting new, a new partner and increase your enjoyment of life. And then make the effort also came out. So for those of you who know that you need to make the effort... To actually flirt more and or to actually get that relationship off the ground and give that person some love because they may be feeling a little bit neglected. Yeah. The message from the angels is you receive this card because some action steps on your part are necessary in order for your prayers about love, your love life to be answered. The angels have opened the doors for you and now it's time for you to walk through them. The first thing that comes to mind with respect to taking action is the start is the good starting place to you for you. So don't think too hard on it, Raga. Cause I ain't know how you motherfuckers are. Whatever the intuitive thought that comes to your head, like like a lightning bulb, like this, you did. Okay, you did. When you ask for spiritual help, you always receive it. Often, this help comes in the da -da 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 -da, form of intuitive guidance, which consists of repetitive feelings and thoughts. You get the sense that you should do this or that. You receive this card as a nudge to actually take that action. You then receive the next piece of the puzzle, meaning another intuitive message about what to do. So don't keep calculating, thinking like, oh, well, if I do this, what's going to happen? Don't worry, it's going to fall into place. You damn calculators. <laughs> if you like, you can ask angels to give you the motivation, courage, time, and energy to take these steps. Know that each one brings you closer upon the pathway to greater love. Now, when it comes to your family life, okay? I think the need is very similar to the, the love reading. I think the need is starting to sink in you to your membrane, Virgo. It is starting to sink into that deep, thick skull of yours that you need some cozy family or home nights cuddled up by the fireplace of loved ones and friends or family or lovers, okay? Because nowadays, you know, family is friends and lovers and crap, so... Don't take too he don't take the message too 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 grandly on the word family. It can just mean your home life, all right? Um, because your obsession with work is stifling that. The situation stands where you have too many obligations. Okay, you have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Devil in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse to me talks about overworking because this is you. Remember, you're you're the King of Pentacles upright, the the guy with the Midas touch, the guy with the magician that can. Anything you touch turns to gold. You're the bada bing, bada boom, voila. 
okay but in reverse you're working too hard or you're thinking too much about the status quo okay and I'm, and with the devil paired up with these two that means you're working too goddamn hard and you're obsessing over and your self limitation beliefs and all of that all the whole nine yards all right so in reverse you releasing that and you realizing you need to tap that ass <laughs> to somebody and you want some love all right so yes you have a lot of obligations all right, you have too many obligations with these seven of cups. The cups represent water signs, Scorpio, um, Pisces, and Cancers. But this cup is very idealistic, it's very much fantasy, very much in your head, or can mean that you have too many choices or too many things to do. Whether this is too many choices of lovers or too many choices of work you're doing, either way, you need to turn this into reverse and make a choice or singular choice okay or you need to narrow down your focus because with this knight of swords in reverse i feel like you're putting your foot in your mouth maybe some of you are making a lot of um promises that you can't keep to family members and you're starting to let you and your family member down all right because this knight of swords often charges ahead and charges forth piercing through the veil and cutting up shit but in reverse you guys will be putting your foot in your mouth because you have way too many obligations and way too many things that you want to accomplish all right and it's family or your friends or your home life and your natural side tends to get put in the back burner and you end up just you know ignoring yourself but ha 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 something came and knocked you off your blood cloud axis Virgos, and i like it something this tower something that's working in your favor the tower is normally eh, it can be a negative card but in this particular place and position is telling you that something has come to knock you off your axis and it's working in your favor okay because it's coming to shake you up all right it's coming to pump some life into you almost and i feel like this is coming in the form of a woman or in the form of a man on this coming in the form of a person with water like energy remember the water like energy is um cancer scorpio and pisces okay because we they rule the cops i said we sorry i'm a water sign um so yes uh, or it can just mean and if this isn't it can just mean um someone's energy okay or it can mean your energy maybe the energy your energy is starting to turn more like a, a water Oh fuck! I'm getting tongue tied. Your energy is starting to turn more like the Queen of Cups, okay? And what this um, this shake up um, this 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 can also be a motherly figure. Whether it's a motherly figure that's coming in and, and telling you that they want to spend more time with you at home, or if it's not a mother, it's a father, whoever. But they're just very nurturing and very loving because water signs are very nurturing very intense very deep very magnetic like they draw you in okay so um whether this is a motherly figure or a potential mate her alluring deep and intense magnetism is leaving you feeling like a helpless puppy dog all right um he or she has the power to make you feel vulnerable and cause you your defense is to drop completely, okay? Because then you have the nine of wands in reverse. The nine of wands in reverse speaks of your defenses or that barrier, that wall that you built up to keep yourself hidden or to protect yourself is failing, all right? Somebody's knocked that shit down. Or is your other self, is your feminine self. Remember when we talk about this feminine card? Is your feminine self? Because men and women, we need, I need masculine, you need feminine. So maybe your feminine self is the one that's starting to to knock on the door like Baga Wagwan Fuck it in. I need some love, god damn it. So <laughs> yes. So yeah, if this this can be you Baga But do surrender to her charms or your charms or your mother's charms or your family members charms. Do do it because it will help you. All right, this tower is here to shake you up for good, and I like it, okay? Because I know how Virgos are. Virgos could be a little bit too fucking strategic. Take a break, love.